back with another video. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about the coronavirus and how the the main the mainstream media just keeps talking about the rise in uh, cases, and they're not saying anything about deaths, which is which is interesting because the deaths. I mean, when you you, you can look this up, anyone can look this up. When you look it up, the, the death rate's going down. And now, like, they want to close businesses back down again. I'm seeing, like, everywhere. They're out here, I stay out in California. They, they're closing down some, uh, closing back down some restaurants and, and bars. Um... I think that's it. It's not it's not that bad out here, but I know some places they're like locking back up, like seriously locking back up. And then some people are talking about that it's a lag. The Washington Post talking about the the cases are going up, but the, the deaths are just la uh, lagging and they have to catch up. The, the, I don't really think that makes any sense because look, the, the deaths are still going down. Like when is it? When is it going to catch back up? Like it's way down, and the cases are way up. The cases are way up because they keep testing. I mean, it's I. I think it's simple, right? I think it's common sense. When we test more, you're gonna have more cases. Well, that's just me. And then they don't even want to to put the blame on any of the the protesting slash rioting that's been going on uh, for a while. Like till this day, people are still out here. I don't, I don't even want to call them protesters, because I don't know what they're doing. I don't even know, like, what are you still protesting for? But, um, there was, like, uh, 1,300 health officials that had signed a letter of support doesn't make any sense. Like, do you just pause the virus so they can go out and, and protest as the virus you, you put it on you hit the pause button like what like tens of thousands of people on top of people and that has nothing to do with the rise in cases that's what the mainstream media wants you to believe which is ridiculous and then they turn around and talk about oh Trump Trump's having rallies Trump's the one that's, that's that's causing this this uprise in, in cases, and then but then they they're like um oh, there's there's no one at his rallies, no one's showing up. So then how is how is he causing it then? How are the the Trump supporters causing it then if there's no one there, if it's if it's so small? But you got tens of thousands of protesters. All over the United States, on top of each other. Some wearing masks, some not wearing masks. I personally, I don't think the masks do anything. I don't get it. But that's just me. So, how is this okay? And this not okay. Doesn't make any sense. And then, like now, a lot of places are requ are requiring you to wear your face mask when you go out in public. Like you have to wear it, or they'll find you. I think um, I saw I read somewhere. I think in Hollywood, they find you like two hundred dollars or something like that. It might be more. Could be wrong. But I mean, they 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 find you though. Like that's stupid. 
Like, I should, I should have the choice if I want to wear a mask or not. Like, other people are protected. If you want to protect yourself or feel like you're protected, then you wear a mask. Why should I have to? I, me personally, I haven't, I haven't worn a mask in anywhere. Um, I, I went into a gas station and a guy tried to tell me to put my shirt over my, my, my face, but I didn't do that. That's stupid. But I think it just depends on where you go. Cause I've been to a few places where they didn't say anything to me. I just walked in there, got what I needed. They didn't refuse me service or anything. And then walked out. But I haven't been to any grocery stores because my wife does most of the, well, she does all of the shopping. So, but I think it should be your choice. Okay, so yeah, West Hollywood, the citation will cost you. $300 for not wearing a face mask. Let's see, it says Santa Monica, uh, first time offenders, you gotta pay $100, and then it says third offense will cost $500. But that is ridiculous. I, I wanna know if, like, what about those, um, those right, the rioters, quote unquote, protesters, whatever you wanna call them, like, are you guys finding them too? You're going to find all of them? Are you going to find all these people when they show up doing this? Like, what's, like, how are you going to do this? You're just finding regular people who are going about their day, being civil Americans. So I remember in the beginning when we first heard about the coronavirus, that um, face masks wouldn't work and that it couldn't be transmitted um, through human to human contact. And they were like, uh, stay home, slow to spread, we're all in this together. And then now, like, they were, oh, yeah, they were putting um, business owners in jail for trying to open up and for trying to uh, save their business from going out of business and, you know, help their employees because, you know, the, the employees, they got family. So, and then, like, now this is. This is okay, I guess. That's all, like, that has nothing to do. Well, these protesters have nothing to do with it, right? Or rioters. Like, look at, look at all these people. That has nothing to do with the uprising cases. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. So I'm gonna leave with this up. I think this meme is funny. It explains what's going on. And that's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Oh, make sure you um, like and comment and subscribe. I want to know you guys' thoughts. Thank you.